Next we have the update method, so scope update equals function and we pass item as the argument this time, semicolon after that. And now we start with the HTTP service brackets, curly brackets, and after this HTTP we go for the success function with data and then we have error function with data status headers and config and then curly brackets and we can close this code with a semicolon after that okay inside of the http again method we'll use post as method so post then we go for url which will be url update this time then we go for data and data this data which we'll create in just a second same way as we've done with the insert uh, method headers the same as with the insert it's going to be content hyphen type and that's going to be application forward slash x hyphen www hyphen form hyphen url encoded url encoded this way okay and then for the arrow let's quickly throw the arrow new error and the error will say something went wrong with updating record semicolon after that let's create this concatenating string var this data equals and we start with the id equals concatenating with item id then this data concatenating so plus equals and we go for in between a double or single quote a end done equals plus item done and that's semicolon and that's the entire string that we need to pass to the update method uh, for the success we go for the log info data it's basically the same way as if you would use console log and then data but because Angular has its own interface for this the log service, let's use this uh, native one here. So that's our update method completed now.